Kentucky. Strasbourg has been rocked by Tuesday evening's shooting at the Christmas markets. That there has been an attack in Strasbourg. We've closed the parliament so nobody can get out. But we are letting members in who want to take part in this debate tonight because I don't want to, and I think you'll probably agree with me, that I don't want this parliament to be intimidated by any kind of terroristic attack or whatever kind of attack. Well, I'm joined now in studio by DUP MEP Diane Dodds, Deirdre Clune of the EPP and Fine Gael, and Leonie Rida of Sinn Féin and Gué NGL. Before we even mention Brexit, Deirdre, I would just like to get your reaction to what happened last night at the Christmas markets. Oh, the attack was, it was terrible. Uh, it was, you know, Christmas time, and your families and lots of tourists. Um, terrible time for, for Strasbourg itself, really, and for France. Uh, I was down there myself in, in the area, in a restaurant, and we got a text to say there had been an incident, and immediately the restaurant shut up, shut shutters, turned the lock on the door, and um, we were all asked to stay indoors. So it was a very worrying time, um, but I think it was reassuring to see the present day soldiers and the police on the streets immediately uh, and reacting, and you know, just. You immediately got the sense, just go with them, do what, the, what they ask you to do, stay indoors and let them get on with their job. But really, it's, you know, this morning we're thinking of the people who were killed, those that were injured, and their family and their friends. And it is really, really dreadful that something is something has, is such a, has happened at such a, such a, a, like a, a family time, a holiday time, Christmas time. Diane, you, you were in the vicinity of the attack as well last night, I understand. I was. This was certainly a terrible terrorist attack. Uh, on the city of Strasbourg, but of course also in France, which has suffered a number of terrible terrorist attacks recently. And like all terrorism, no matter where that takes place, it has to be condemned. It is wrong, and, and uh, I, I hope that those responsible face the full rigours of the law here in France. Um, Christmas in Strasbourg is really quite a magical time, um, with all of the lights and I walked around a little bit of the Christmas market last night before going into a restaurant, which was just one street down from where the incident was. And there were families, moms, dads, kids, um, all enjoying a wonderful time. There were lots of tourists around. Um, and this really is very, very sad and a very brutal and a horrific attack um, on innocent people in this town. And... Uh, I think France has suffered a lot with, with terrorism and um, I know that Strasbourg will recover um, but for those families um, it, it is incredibly difficult and our thoughts will with them. Leah, you were of course in, in the parliament for the lockdown when, when, after the incident happened, perhaps you can describe that. Well, yeah, well, first of all, condolences to those who were killed and injured. It was an absolute mindless act of, of violence. Uh, it does raise questions, though, in my mind, about the fact that the attacker had his house searched yesterday morning. He was clearly on, on the list for the gendarmes, and the fact that he managed to get through to the Christmas market and take a gun out and shoot people. Um, you know, I think questions have to be answered in that regard. Certainly in the Parliament last night... Um, our first concern, obviously, was to ensure that everybody was safe. So we checked in with all of, in my case, Sinn Féin team, and everybody was accounted for. Uh, but then we were on lockdown, and President Tajani gathered the MEPs into the hemicycle at about quarter past two in the morning. And what struck me was um, he immediately started addressing how to get the MEPs home and that we would have to have armed guards because the city wasn't safe. But the priority was the MEPs. And I actually asked him, well, what about the workers, the cleaning staff, the caterers? How are they going to leave the parliament? And he completely refused to answer that. And it seemed to me that, you know, there was one rule for those who were given priorities with the MEPs and the workers could just fend for themselves. And I think that's quite indicative in one sense of the inequalities that we see in this parliament. Um, certainly protocol has to be put in place uh, in case of future attacks.